Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a highly requested video which is a walk through my closet. So it's nothing special um, but I've had a few people ask if I could share some of my favorite wardrobe pieces and some of my shoes and a little bit more of my style that doesn't have so much to do with perfumes. So I thought I would do that today so hopefully it isn't too long and rambly but it probably will be a long video so Get yourself a cup of coffee and I'm excited to show you some of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe. Also, if you're not already subscribed, definitely consider doing so. And if you like my content, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And without further ado, let's get started. So out here I have a little white organizer and I've had this since I lived in my old place. I used to use it to store perfumes and jewelry and stuff like that but now I keep all of that stuff on my dresser over there and that's not very well organized. It's always a work in progress and I have a few more perfumes coming in the mail. Once I get them I'm going to do a much nicer job of kind of organizing this. Everything's kind of just sitting out right now. My bed, my nightstand, really ugly air conditioner but we have to do what we have to do to keep those perfumes nice and cool. <laughs> So on the shelf I do keep a few handbags and I like to have some of my prettiest handbags displayed or just ones that I really like. Um, so on the top I do have this little straw handbag which I got from Winners. I think this was only $35. It's an amazing little handbag. It's just a little round one. Super cute. I love this for hot days with a really nice summer dress. I just think it looks really chic even though it's also very natural and woven and handmade looking. To the right of that I have my beige Chanel classic flap which I absolutely love. It's like my most prized possession of a purse. Haven't really worn it a whole lot yet. It is fairly new and um, I was kind of hoping to wear it when I went on vacation and of course we haven't gone on vacation. And because it isn't like a huge bag, it's not super practical for me to carry around day to day. And it's certainly not something that I wanna bring to work with me. I just don't like leaving my bags sitting around where there's a lot of people. Under that I do have a couple of wristlets and a wallet as well. To the left of that I have my little calfskin Tory Burch bag which I bought when I was actually in LA on Rodeo Drive. Absolutely love that little bag, really nice for the summertime, it's just a little crossbody. And then underneath that I do have um, a little Louis Vuitton scarf and I have a couple of um, clutches as well as another little bag. I don't have a lot of really like bedazzled, like extravagant looking clutches. I just like to keep things really simple. Um, so I do have this nude kind of blush pink Tory Burch um, clutch, which I really, really like. And that one I will wear if I'm wearing nude shoes. And then I have this little Ted Baker black one with a little bow. And that one I wear if I am wearing black shoes. So this is what the closet looks like when you open it up. I do have the big French doors that open and I do prefer this so much to the closet that I had in my old place. If you guys follow me, you know that I recently moved here and I hated my old closet because I had these mirrored sliding doors and so I could only ever look at one side of the closet at a time, which really drove me crazy. I like to be able to visualize everything that I have in my closet at one time and this is so much more user friendly. I feel like I have so much more room and it just makes me a lot more happy and calm to look at this closet. So on the left hand side, I do have this over the door shoe organizer which holds quite a few of my shoes and um, I have high heels and flats mostly. You guys know that I'm not much of a casual shoe person. I'm not much of a sneaker or flip-flop. In fact, I don't own any flip-flops anymore. Um, I do have one pair of sneakers, which if you follow me on Instagram, you saw I wore yesterday when I went out on a little hike with my daughter. And that was the first time I've ever actually worn them. I won't show you every single pair of shoes because that would take a really long time, but I will kind of give you a little taste of some of my favorite pieces that are in my wardrobe. Um, so one of my all-time favorite pairs of shoes to wear is a high heel strappy sandal. So I will just show you this pair as an example. So this is a four inch high heel from Sam Edelman. I have these shoes in three different variations. I have these ones that are four inches high. I also have them in three inches high and then I also have them three inches high um, but black so that that way I have lots of different options um, if I'm wearing a nice dress somewhere warm uh, This is just my absolute favorite type of shoe to wear super classy goes with everything I always try to get nude shoes if I can like every pair of shoes that I find that I love I try to get it in some sort of shade of nude or like a tan skin color or brown because that way it's guaranteed to go with all of my outfits um, so another type of shoe that I really love is a ballet flat. I pretty much live in ballet flats. So I have these ones which are from Sam Edelman. I really like the cute little um, 
metallic a peak that they have at the top. I think those are so, so chic. I do on occasion like animal print. I really like cheetah and leopard and snake print as well. And these snake print loafers actually are brand new and they were not very expensive. These are from Call It Spring. So those are another example of my type of like casual day-to-day -day shoe. This is probably, even though they look dirty, I'm sorry about that. This is probably my favorite pair of shoes in my whole collection. This was also the most expensive. These were a gift. Um, these are my Louboutin high heel shoes. They are actually broken in finally. They were extremely painful when I first got them, but they are so chic and so elegant and they just make me feel like a million bucks. So yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite um, pairs of shoes in my entire wardrobe. I really like a pair of nude pointy toe high heels. I think that they just go in so many different occasions. You can wear them with so many different outfits. So I do have quite a number of um, pointy toe nude high heel shoes as well. These ones are patent. Um, and then I also have a pair of black pointy toe high heels as well. I think these are such a staple and I have used them so many times. Some other favorites that I have in my collection, I really like an almond toe block heel. I think they look really, really chic and I have two pairs of those. This one is from Kate Spade and these were a Christmas gift to myself last year. They're a suede shoe. They have the really cute little spades on this bow on the toe so i just think that is really adorable these actually look very sophisticated you can dress these up or you can wear them a little bit more casually i think they'd be perfect for the office if i had an office job and then i have these ones as well which are kind of a chanel inspired shoe so they're not chanel i think i paid a hundred dollars for them i got them from amazon and they also have a block heel and the little black cap toe. And these are super sophisticated and super chic as well. I absolutely love them. Yeah, so about as casual as I get or about as flip floppy as I get would be these ones from Michael Kors, which are a T-strap um, gold sandal. And as you can see, they have gotten a ton of wear. They're like worn right in. They're super flat. I love them. Um, they're a little bit dressy. They're casual and they're effortless but without being too casual so they still look a little bit dressy because they are gold toned and I really like minimal delicate hardware so I really like that the t-strap is nice and skinny and that they have just this really small little Michael Kors emblem um, yeah and then I have one pair of espadrille kind of chunky sandals which these are not my favorite types of sandals to wear but if I am wearing a maxi dress or something and I need something comfortable because I'm gonna be going walking but I still want something that gives me some height and so my dress isn't dragging on the ground, that's primarily why I purchased these. So you will notice a theme to my wardrobe, which is that most of the items are kind of beige, nude, pink, neutral, but there will be the odd pop. I don't know how or why I like this, but for the most part, I really like everything to be nude and neutral but sometimes I will wear something really vibrant like a bright green or a bright red but for the most part everything does stay pretty neutral so I'll just quickly show you my bright red pair of shoes these are a loafer from Steve Madden these are amazing I also got these ones on sale as well and yeah that's kind of I don't know it's kind of the strange dichotomy of my wardrobe which is that I'm either super neutral super plain or incredibly vibrant <laughs> don't ask me why that's just what I like so on the top shelf in my closet is where I keep my handbag. So I do have a couple of shoe boxes that just hold some essential items like heel protectors and cushions for your shoes and garment tape and things like that. I have my Teddy Blake handbag, which I've shown you guys in a video. I actually did a full review of that Teddy Blake handbag. And if you would like a discount code, there is one in the description box so that you can get, I think it's $20 or 20% or something like that off of this bag. Really amazing. Um, I also have my Ted Baker dome satchel. I really love a dome satchel. I think that they are incredibly classy and timeless. And also, of course, it's in a nude color. And then I have my two Louis Vuitton Never Full totes, which are my absolute favorite totes. I kind of alternate. I really like the um, Damier Azure print for traveling, springtime, summer. It's perfect for the airplane, perfect for traveling. And then I really like the brown one for the fall and the winter because I carry so much stuff in my handbags. I have to have a lot of room for everything from sunscreen, hand lotion, AirPods, my phone, my keys, my comb. Like I carry a lot of stuff in my purse. So I like to have something that is very spacious and those are my absolute favorite totes. I've always just really loved um, the monogram print as well. I know a lot of people don't like the monogram print. Some people think, think it looks cheap. I personally really, really like the monogram print. 
So coming to the left of my closet, I do have all of my scrubs as well as my gym clothing, and I'm just gonna quickly take you through that. So I've already shown you guys many times, but I pretty much always wear the same color of scrubs all the time, which is white. So I have multiple pairs of white scrubs. This is my sweater that I wear to work. This is just kind of a chunky, almost like a cable knit kind of a sweater, but this is the one that I wear when I work night shifts as well as in the fall and winter because I do tend to get cold. And then I have a whole bunch of um, gym clothing. So. When it comes to gym clothes, I'm pretty basic. I do have some clothing coming from Aloe Yoga. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. It's a United States brand. They sell it at Nordstrom. And I was looking for some classy two-piece gym outfits, which would be bra and pants. I really like working out in just a bra and high-waisted pants because it doesn't show too much skin, but it's very cool and airy, and then you don't sweat too much. But I have a hard time finding um, just a bra and pants that doesn't look kind of um, too revealing, you know what I mean? Like some of them can be very kind of risque looking. Um, and I have some that I like, but I, for some reason I always feel a little bit out of place wearing them to the gym, especially where I live, because where I live people are very conservative and it's a very small town and most people wear like a t-shirt and pants. So yeah, I just struggle with like trying to find that balance where I don't feel like everybody's watching me. So anyway, I do have some gym clothes coming that I want to try on. Hopefully I really like them. If you guys want, I can do a try on and I can kind of review the Aloe Yoga clothing once it comes. I'm really excited. It should be here like tomorrow or the next day. I have a couple of sports bras from Lululemon and I have this outfit, which is actually from um, Astoria Activewear. And I really do like Astoria. This outfit looks phenomenal on me, but again, it's a little bit showy and I just haven't felt super comfortable wearing it yet, but I'm gonna try to go out of my comfort zone and actually wear it to the gym and see how I feel. And then for the most part, I always wear just Lululemon pants, just black Lululemons. And then I have this top, which is from Diadora from their luxury line I think. The only problem as you can see is that it has holes in the bottom. I think this was because I had shortened it myself um, using a sewing machine and I had shortened it too much and then I had to take the stitching out and I think I did that myself. So I kind of ruined the bottom of the top unfortunately and then every time I wash it the holes just get bigger and bigger and bigger. So I actually need a replacement top for that and that's why I ordered a whole bunch from um, aloe. So I'm hoping that once the shipment comes in, I have a couple of nice new outfits that I feel confident and comfortable and can wear them to the gym because this one has to go. So coming over to the right of the closet, this is where I have all of my streetwear. But currently I just have it set up from pants to shirts to skirts to dresses. So it's going from shortest to longest, which I think at least gives it a little bit of uniformity and also it kind of keeps everything in the same place because pants all look the same, shirts all look the same, and dresses all look the same. And then it's pretty easy for me to find things. So I will just quickly show you a couple of items, see if maybe there's anything that we can declutter. There probably won't be much. So starting in the front, we have my pants and I really like um, sort of an office casual, um, like really put together chic look. I'm not much of a jeans and t-shirt girl. If I'm gonna wear something that's not a dress in the spring or summer, it's gonna be like a nice blouse and a nice pair of pants. So I do have a couple of pairs of just skinny leg, um, I guess, like pants, trousers, I'm not really sure what you call them. These ones are from RW & Co, which is one of my absolute favorite places to get pants. Um, they just have really nice styles. They're very well put together. They just make you feel like a really well put together woman. Excellent for the office, but you can also wear them just on casual days off. Um, I do have a couple of pairs of white jeans. These ones are actually a jagging. I really like them. There's a pair of white jeans that I really like. Um, again, so we do have a few pairs of like office appropriate pants and I honestly can't tell you the last time I wore those because I don't work in an office environment, but there are times that I have to go for meetings. There's times that we have education days or conferences. And if I ever do get a job working in an office, because in my profession, there is a strong possibility that one day I will have an office job, then I will need office casual clothing. So I am keeping those. Then we have kind of my most worn pants. So these ones are a black 
um, kind of a jagging pant. They're a little bit more polished. And then I have a pair of high-waisted black jeans. I absolutely love these. I wear these all the time. They look really nice, even just going out for dinner with a nice blouse. You can definitely get away with them. And then I have two pairs of jeans. So I have one pair that is, they're both high-waisted, but I have one pair that is um, a lighter wash. Those are from Sam Edelman. They are phenomenal. I love them. They're very flattering, very sexy, really nice for the summertime. And then I have another pair that's a slightly darker wash, and normally I would not go for a dark wash pair of jeans um, but these ones I actually picked up from winners and I found them to be very flattering they just made my butt look really good and if you're a woman you understand if you find a pair of pants that makes your butt look incredible you purchase them so starting off with the blouses you will see a trend that I really like red I have a few like um, red pieces that really stand out. Apparently I also like kind of an emerald green. I can see a couple of emerald green things and you will also see a lot of pleats. Pleats and lace are my favorite things. I would say my style, if I had to describe my style, I would say it is feminine, chic, classic and a little bit vintage. Sometimes I really like vintage looking stuff. If you guys have ever heard of the store um, chicwish.com, they have amazing stuff. Um, yeah, I'll just show you some pieces and then you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So in the front, I do have this little camisole from RW & Co. This is just a green one. Um, I really like a halter neck. Those tend to be the most flattering on me. And then I like something that kind of flows away. I also have another top very similar. This is actually a dark cherry red. It doesn't look like it because of the light, but this is actually a dark cherry red top. And with the halter again, then I have another top very similar. This one is a little bit of a brighter red. This one I got from Winners and it has the pleats, which is my favorite thing. And then it has the halter at the top. Super flattering, super cute, you guys. I really wish that I actually had a life and I could wear these things because I haven't done anything in so long because of this whole COVID thing. My life has been so complacent. So I have all these cute clothes that I just haven't had a chance to wear and it's driving me bonkers. Um, I also have this super cute top. This is from RW & Co. Like I said, one of my absolute favorite places to get clothing. Um, it's just a yellow lace top with a little cap sleeve and a round neck. And of course it flows away just a little bit at the waist. Like I said, that's one of my favorite things. I also really like a cap sleeve. Cap sleeves are the most flattering sleeve for my body type. If the sleeve comes down too far, I don't know what it is, but it just makes my shoulders look very broad and it does nothing for my physique. So halters and cap sleeves are my favorite type of shirt. And this one is just so cute and so pretty. Here we have another similar kind of a top. This one I also picked up from Winners. Super inexpensive, it's white, it has a round neck, and then it's got just a little bit, it's sleeveless, but it's got a tiny bit of a cap sleeve. And then again, flows away at the waist. We also have this blouse from Elaine Rose. I got this from Winners. It's just like your basic button down, which I think every woman needs. And personally, I am not a fan of collars. So I do not like, I don't know what you call that. Is that a lapel or a notch collar? I'm not sure what you call it. I don't know anything about fashion, you guys, but I do like just a plain collar with like a button at the top. So that for me is the most flattering type of collar. I have just a plain cropped white t-shirt, which I actually purchased with these dark wash jeans and it looked really cute together. Um, it's a very casual outfit. It's probably like the most casual thing I have in my wardrobe. So I'm gonna try wearing it and see how I feel. I also have this super cute blouse. I do really like a sheer kind of a chiffon type of material. And this is a very sheer white blouse with black polka dots. It also has a little bell sleeve. Here we have a white lace t-shirt. Here we have a shirt from Topshop, which I rarely ever purchase anything from Topshop, but actually here in Canada, the Bay, which is kind of Canada's version of Macy's, has, um, they have a lot of Topshop stuff, and this is actually very cute. So this crew neck cropped white long sleeve top looks amazing with a long maxi skirt. Super cute, you can switch it up, you can just change your skirt out, change your shoes, change your bag. It makes a whole new outfit. I have another kind of a pink long flowy rose shirt which I really like. Again, this is just exactly my style. I have another cap sleeve kind of chiffon material flowing away from the breast area. Super cute. This one I also picked up from Winners. This is in like a cream color. 
Here we have one of my all-time favorite tops in my entire wardrobe. So this shirt, of course, was from RW, and this is a mixed media shirt, which means it basically has two different types of material. And on the top, it looks like a cute little white cap sleeve shirt with just a crew neckline. And then on the bottom, you have the pleats. That, you guys, is like the ultimate shirt for me. That is my favorite, favorite style of shirt. I wish I had it in 10 different colors. Um, it's also one of the oldest shirts in my collection. It is a little bit discolored at the armpit area. I'm going to have to see about fixing that because I love that top. There's the blue one. How cute are those tops, you guys? This is the only time I've ever actually loved a shirt enough to buy two of them in different colors. And I wish I would have bought like two of each, the same size, same everything, because I'm going to wear them out eventually. Here's an example of when I do something a little bit different. So I have a plaid, kind of a brightly colored sweater. Again, it's mixed media. I love mixed media. I love when something is fitted on the top and then flowy at the waist. It's just very, very flattering for my physique. Um, it has a little bow at the sleeve, which is adorable. It's got the crew neckline. This is one of my favorite fall and winter sweaters. Then we have another sweater. This is just a really cute kind of a cotton blend with a ruffle going across the top, which I really like. Another white kind of a ruffly top. This one I'm thinking about potentially decluttering. This is actually a really cute one. I like that it has the kind of pom-pom detail at the top and I like the little kind of pom-pom detail all throughout. It does have a bit of a bell sleeve. It's got the ruffles. It's the right color for me. It's a very me kind of a top, but every time I wear it for some reason, I don't feel 100%. I don't think it flatters me. Um, as well as it could, it sort of hangs a little bit off my shoulders and it just doesn't fit me very well. So that one I think I am on the fence about. Here we have another flowy kind of a pleated top. This one is actually from Calvin Klein and this one is white. I purchased this from the Bay um, quite a few years ago actually. This was probably my most worn shirt when I was in nursing school when we had like office professional dressing days or whatever. Um, I would often wear this with a nice pair of dress pants and just a cardigan or something and it just looked very casual and very effortless but also very put together. So really, really like that shirt. Unfortunately, it reminds me of school, which I hate and that's why I don't wear it anymore because every time I put it on, I feel like I'm going to clinical. Then we have a cropped mint green sweater from Elodi. Am I saying that properly? Elodi. And I got this one from Nordstrom Rack. Nordstrom Rack is one of my favorite places to shop. This one actually looks really cute with a pair of high-waisted jeans. We have one of the very few cotton t-shirts that I have. This one is from Ted Baker. And it is just a really cute kind of a girly light pink. It has the little floral apique at the shoulder, so it gives it a little bit of something dressy. And I have this absolutely adorable sweater, which I purchased from Winners. This is from a brand called Wearing Your Heart on Your Sleeve. It's a size extra small. I only paid $20 for it. I love the buttons. I love all the details on this sweater. It looks very vintage, very chic, a little bit like Chanel-esque. It almost has a tweed vibe, but it's actually um, a really cozy kind of a wool blend sweater. I have a rose caftan which I purchased from Winners as well. It looks very dressy and very put together. Super cute for the office if I had an office job. I have a pink long sleeve cardigan as well. I really, really like my cardigans. This one is from a brand called Camber and Grace and it is from uh, RW & Co as well. Like I said, one of my favorite places to get clothing is RW & Co. Then we have a whole bunch of long pleated maxi skirts. These are my favorite type of skirts, you guys. I think I have I think I have three or four of these skirts and they're my absolute favorite. They are exactly my style. Yeah, so I have quite a few of them. This one here that is kind of this like cream color with the roses underneath is from Aritzia. I also have just a little pink one, which is from Joe Fresh. So this kind of lighter cream one actually stops at your knees and that one is from The Bay. And then I have this black kind of sparkly one. Look at how sparkly it is. This one's a little bit more dressy and that one also came from The Bay. And I think that one was a little bit more expensive but I got it on sale. I am currently on the hunt for a black crop top to wear with this dress or to wear with this skirt. And I think I would dress this up and wear it out to dinner. So yeah, huge fan of maxi skirts, huge fan. 
So in the front we have kind of a very elegant white dress and this one is a little bit fitted. Um, it ends just below the knee. It's got ruffles on the top. It has the little pearl and like metallic detail at the top. Super dressy, super pretty. I haven't even had a chance to wear this dress out, but this is the type of dress I would wear out to a nice restaurant if I was celebrating my birthday or something like that or maybe just going to a nice dinner. I also have this really cute off-white one by a brand called Eliza J. If you are a fan of Eliza J, comment down below and tell me it is one of my absolute favorite designers it is a cold shoulder kind of a poofy sleeve and then it's just like an a-line dress and it is super cute super sophisticated I have a white flowy dress this one has like a cutout at the at like the abdomen and then it just has spaghetti straps and a little bow super cute I do have a couple of jumpsuits this is a little blue pinstripe sundress. I will insert a photo because it looks like a mess hung up there. We have another jumpsuit from Topshop. We have a really cute floral dress from Rebecca, Rebecca Taylor. We have a burnt orange maxi, or sorry, we have a burnt orange halter dress, which I got from Nordstrom Rack as well. Super cute muted pleated dress. This one is from Ted Baker. I absolutely love this one. I actually bought this one when I was in Vegas. So another type of dress that I really like is kind of like your basic t-shirt style dress but with a more um, luxurious fabric. So this one here is from Tommy Hilfiger. This is a two-tone kind of a color block dress and it has just a short sleeve, um, basically just an A-line and a jewel or a crew neck with a little bit of a darting detail at the bust. Super flattering. I have actually worn this um, when I was traveling and I got lots of compliments on this. We have a red maxi dress with some little polka dots on it. We have this gold, uh, pink, white, and green dress, which I got from the Bay. Um, you've probably seen this a ton if you follow me on Instagram because I wear this dress all the time. I absolutely love it. And in fact, I think I'm gonna order a second one because this one I actually um, had shortened and I kind of wish I wouldn't have had it shortened. And they still have it and it's actually on clearance. So I think I'm actually going to try to remind myself to order another one of these. I'm just gonna throw it on my bed so that I remember. Then we have another dress. This one's from Tommy Hilfiger. Again, we have kind of a dressier halter from, I think this one is a Vince Camuto. Yes. I absolutely love Vince Camuto. He is one of my favorite, all-time favorite dress designers. I have a couple of ruffly dresses. We've got like a white ruffly dress. We have a leopard print jumpsuit this one is a little bit more like risque like i would say this one is not super classy you've probably seen um, a picture of this on instagram as well but i happen to really really like this jumpsuit and i think if you do it properly and you have like a nice pair of shoes on um i think you can make it look a little bit more classy than it is but i really really love this jumpsuit i have a bright green jumpsuit which is super cute and i was hoping to wear this again during the daytime on vacation haven't had a chance to wear it yet this one i think i'm gonna declutter actually i don't know i'm on the fence about this one this is a brown jumpsuit which i got from uh, winners actually and it has um, it like cinches in at the ankle it's got a zipper that goes down the front i'll insert a picture to show you guys what it looks like it's actually very flattering on. I just, sometimes I feel like I'm wearing a brown paper bag when I wear it. Here we have another dress that if you follow me on Instagram, you have seen many, many times. This is a maxi dress, a couple of little ruffles in the front, and it's just a really pretty, kind of a light, neutral, orangey, peachy dress with some pink flowers. And I actually have two of them. Again, I had purchased one and I had shortened it and then I wished I hadn't. So I actually wear both of them. Sometimes I wear the one that is longer with those high espadrille shoes and the one that is shorter I wear with flat. Here I have what I would consider to be one of my best finds of this year. I actually found this little blue and white pinstripe maxi dress from Winners. This has a really cute rope style kind of a belt. It's got the halter top with like the rope style neckline and it's you guys this dress is absolutely adorable it flows away from the body it's so flattering it's so cute I will have to put it on and take a picture and show you guys I love that thing I think I paid $25 for it then I have like my respectable housewife brown dress which doesn't look like much on the hanger but it actually looks really nice on I have another maxi dress that I purchased from winners it kind of looks like a clown outfit I realized that when you look at the top this kind of looks like it doesn't look like much on the hanger, but it's actually very, very cute when you put it on. 
I have another pleated dress from Sam Edelman. I have another one of those short sleeve A-line dresses. I have a summer dress from Kendall and Kylie that is really cute, still haven't had a chance to wear that one. Okay, so we are nearing the end of my dresses and this one here is a long maxi dress in like a oatmeal color and it has kind of these orange and green straps that you just tie up over your shoulders and it has like a square neckline and it cinches in at the waist and then flows away and it's a really long, nice maxi dress. I will insert a photo of that one. This one is actually from Nordstrom and it is called the Santorini dress and it is by a brand, um, oh, it's by Free People. So yeah, super cute dress. It looks a lot nicer on than it does on the rack again. One of my favorite casual dresses for vacation. This one here, I will have to insert a photo. This is like my Femme Fatale Seduce and Destroy cocktail dress. I love this. I will insert a photo. It is so sexy. I still haven't had a chance to wear it. I've had it for two years, you guys, and that just shows you how exciting my life is. So i um, really looking for this COVID stuff to end so I can actually wear some of my nice dresses. And then I have one of my all-time favorite loud bright statement dresses. This is from a brand called Maggie London. I got this from Nordstrom Rack. It has so many different colors. I will again insert a photo. This is so much more flattering on than it is on the hanger. It ties up in the front. It has these ties. This is like a satin mix. Very luxurious fabric. Um, I just absolutely love the different colors. I love how they play together. It's got a halter neckline. It's adorable. With my Louboutin shoes, this dress is killer. I have had so many compliments on it. I have another sort of um, sexy, but this one's a little bit more classy. This is a cocktail dress. I will insert a photo for you guys as well of that one. I have a dress from Anne Klein here. This is like a black polka dot maxi with a halter neckline. I still haven't worn this one, you guys, and I'm not really 100% sure on it. I think I'm gonna try it on today. And if I decide that I don't like it enough to wear it today, I think I might pass this one on because yeah I just I don't know I was feeling it the day that I purchased it and now I'm not feeling it anymore and last but not least we have another dress and this one is more of a like evening dress I guess that you could wear to a nice restaurant or for like a more formal occasion like a work event so this is from uh, Ralph Lauren and this is size two, it's a color block dress. It has a cute little cap sleeve. It actually has a really nice tie that ties in at the waist. I will insert a photo. It's nice and long, it's very flattering. Exactly my type of style, a little bit more formal, but still very cute and I absolutely love it. It makes me feel super chic and super put together. And so that is the last dress in my closet. So that is all of it. Now I have to go and reorganize it, but that's just kind of a little taste of my style and the type of stuff that I like to wear. Um, is my wardrobe complete? Uh, I wouldn't say so. There's always something that I'm looking for. I don't have a whole lot of casual outfits, but I don't really do a whole lot of casual outfits. I do like to consider myself somebody who has somewhat of a minimalist wardrobe. Like I know it looks like I have a lot of shoes, but I also don't have like closets and drawers full of clothing. What you see is what you get, that is it. Yeah, so that's kind of just a little taste of my wardrobe. So that's it for today's closet walkthrough. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you made it to the end, thank you so much for still being here. Definitely do head on over and follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. I do share a lot of outfits of the day, perfumes of the day, and other little tidbits of my life on there. And I will see you guys all next time. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.